गुड मॉर्निंग बॉयज वी बिगिन विद आ फर्स्ट लेसन जोमेट्रिकल फिगर्स विल फोकस ऑन एंगल्स नाउ एज यू कैन सी देर आर एंगल्स बिटवीन द ग्राउंड एंड द स्लाइड द लैडर मेक्स एन एंगल विद द ग्राउंड वी सी एंगल्स बिटवीन द ट्री ट्रंक एंड इट्स ब्रांचेस there is an angle between the electric pole and the ground now as we have all revised we know that there are three kind three types of angles now those three type of angles are right angle acute angle and obtuse angle as you can see here we see a right angle between two adjoining sides of a window two adjacent sides of a book make a right angle now observe the pictures of the clock in a clock at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock the minute hand and the hour hand are at right angles to each other they make the shape of a alphabet l and they are at 90 degrees so this angle is known as right angle now we'll move on to another angle which is acute angle and obtuse angle now you can see those scissors in the pictures the movement of the scissor and the angle they form are the three different type of angles the first one is right angle then acute angle which is smaller than right angle less than 90 degrees and the last picture of the scissor is showing an angle which is known as obtuse angle and it is more than 90 degrees and bigger than right angle now let us concentrate on these three pictures of the clock what is the angle shown in the first clock yes it is a right angle the second clock shows an acute angle and the third clock shows an obtuse angle now we will concentrate on another geometrical figure which is a circle now boys recollect what are the examples do you see in the environment which are in circular shape one is two of them are natural gifts of god yes they are the sun and the moon both are in round in shape so those are circular shapes now here in the picture you can see a bangle a bicycle wheel all the above objects are circular a cart wheel now when we concentrate on circle we see that there are four parts of a circle center radius diameter and a chord we will know more about them a little later but first we will try and make a circle so drawing a circle is very simple you can take any cap of a bottle or take a small steel bowl place it upside down on a piece of paper and trace its outline now remove the bowl the figure you get on the piece of paper is of the circle now draw two three more circles of this type and keep it with you now take one cut out of the circle and fold it as shown in the picture from the side 
Now the line that you get on the side of the circle is known as the chord. Now take another cut out of the circle and fold it so that it overlaps the other side and thus it divides the circle into two equal halves. When you open it you will see that the line form is a long line which is crossing the center of the circle and it is dividing the circle into two halves. Now this is known as the diameter of the circle. Now again if you fold this circle into two and then you again give one more fold and thus it makes the four portions. When you open it there is a center point. The point in the center is known as the center of the circle and if you take one half of the line that is known as the radius of the circle. Now, we will learn drawing a circle using a compass. You may be having your pencil boxes, geometrical, geometry box or you may not be having. But this picture shows you the picture of the compass. How you have to put a pencil. Take a piece of paper, choose any one point near the middle of the paper. Take a suitable distance between the steel tip of the compass and the tip of the pencil. Place the steel tip on the chosen point, hold it in place and turn the pencil tip around it to trace a circle. Mark with a red pencil the point at which you held the steel tip. Now cut out this circle. Fold it twice as before to obtain two diameters of the circle. Observe that these two diameters meet at a red point. It means the red point is the center of the circle. Now here you can see there are four pictures of the circle given. In the first picture there is a point which is the center of the circle. Now boys, when we were learning about cutting a circle and folding it on a side, after opening that cut out we saw a side of the side we saw a line on the side of the circle this is exactly what is shown in the second figure this is known as a chord now again the third cut out what we learned was to fold the circle equally so that they overlap the two sides overlap each other and when we open that cutout, we see a long line. Now this is the diameter of the circle, which is also the longest chord. Now in the fourth figure, if I see, we have taken a line from the center to the circumference of the circle. Now this is known as the radius of the circle. Now this was for your ex understanding. This is what I've tried to explain to you. Now for tomorrow's class, you will keep the four cutouts ready for the next class. And we will do it practically. Thank you. Stay in, stay safe, wash your hands regularly.